Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Bit Glenn. My name's Glenn, and I like to share with you what I learn in the world of crypto as I go through it. So I wasn't actually going to record this video today. Um, I actually posted a video earlier on today about um, crypto.com, um, but I was uh, my, the wife and kids have all gone to bed, and that's normally when I have time to sit down and reflect, read, research. Uh, it's normally only a couple of hours, so I have to be quite selective in what I choose to spend my time in sometimes that's playing Final Fantasy on a PS4 which I've just completed or it may be researching Bitcoin or looking into Hex or looking into Crypto.com and a lot of people ask me like oh, Glenn can you look into this Glenn can you look into that Glenn what do you think about that do you think I should buy this time do you reckon so I have to be selective with okay I'm going to dedicate this much time to this thing so um Tonight I was just watching uh, YouTube videos um, and saying got me a bit, <laughs> it wound me up to be honest, I got really angry, um, not because I'm for one side or the other, um, just, just, I don't know, I, I think I, I've grown to sort of expect more in the cryptocurrency space. Um, I don't know. Anyway, I'll get. <laughs> My issue is, and let's let's actually bring it up. Let's get into it. I know. My issue actually is with someone called. I've never heard of this person until tonight. Um, but we've seen, obviously, with the Hex platform. And don't switch off straight away because this is more of a discussion about the cryptocurrency space as a whole. Um, a lot of people obviously just jump in and say, Hex is scam. That's it. Hex is scam. That's it. And when you actually ask them, and obviously I've had those conversations, why Why do you think it's a scam? I want to know. Like, I, I'm the, if, if Hex is a scam, I'm the first person that wants to know about it. I, I, I did the same as I'm sure many of you did before I got involved in hex i've typed is hex a scam what's richard hart doing with hex um how does hex work where's the money going where's the ethereum being sent to what has happened to the price i looked at the charts i spent probably 10 days i believe it was it was 10 days to two weeks doing research reading watching videos um for pros and cons i was looking for and this is i've openly said this before on many of my platforms i've said you know the way to determine whether something's a scam or not is to look at if first let the first thing is obviously look look up is it a scam on google and read the articles read the reviews read what other people have posted then read the plus sides like why is this good or what have they done recently or um go to the, the the people direct you know like the people that have funded it created it marketed it and you st sort of look at for an angle you look at like why are they promoting this oh because they've got a referral link oh because they're uh, they're getting a commission oh they're uh, his brother owns you know is a majority shareholder of the company you know there's and then you start to puzzle the piece together oh okay and i do this daily 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 on even just anything anything you come across i think why would the, why they do that why why would they offer that so this brings me on to this interview that i've just watched um with someone called uh peter mccormack i think he's australian or something or i don't know might be british uh, i've never heard of him until today and I've just sat here and watched the first 33 minutes of this interview. And that was it. I got really angry. Not because I'm thinking, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stick up for Richard. Because he does a good enough job doing that anyway. Um, and I think he handled himself really well, actually. Um, but actually, if you guys uh, watched my videos uh, the other day, I actually sat and watched, was it a four-hour long interview with Richard Hart versus lawyers and uh, tone vase that was a really constructive to and fro conversation um really uh 
you know, they, they really sort of went through the details of the project, how, what's happening with it, why he's not saying certain things, and what, and he gave his answers very clearly and repeatedly. Um, I admit the way Richard Hart does debate and the way he talks sometimes, I think um, irritates people and that just gets them up the wrong way. I understand that and I said that in my videos. Um, I just watched this one here where basically this guy just basically goes on and just says, you're a dick, you're a wanker, you're a scammer, you're gonna scam everyone, you're gonna lose all their coins. Now this is two days into the project. So this is when Hex, Okay, I don't want to talk about that one. This is when Hex actually just started. So let's go to the price of Hex. And every day that Richard Hart doesn't do something that hurts a lot of people, I think every day is making a stronger argument for it. Because I said in one of my videos ages ago that... Um, I think that Richard Hart should earn money out of it. If you create something that people use and other people, you, you, it's something that other people are making money on. I'm making money on it. You know, if you stake your coins and you earn money out of it, why shouldn't he earn money out of it? He created it, he spent years creating it, he's debated live on TV, he's had his reputation ripped apart, he's had his credibility questioned many, many times, um, and he's still willing to go on and chat to anyone, even if they're saying that. Now, you've got to bear in mind that he received a load of Ethereum day one. He received a load of Ethereum day two. He received a load of Ethereum day three, day four, day five, day six, day seven. We are now currently on day, I don't know, 150 something. <clears throat> Let's have a little look. We are on day 166. So he has received all this Ethereum. Now he's saying, oh yeah, the, the keys are, the keys to all the, the, the account that has this Ethereum. He doesn't want to say who owns it because he says in this interview and i think anyone who's on the fence about hex should really really if you're slightly interested in anything to do with hex even if you just hate hex and you just want to he openly says in this video if i tell you who has the keys and what the ethereum is for you will then expect something to happen later on which means that you're going to buy my hex token or hold it in the anticipation for this thing that is going to happen with this Ethereum. Now that says to me, and Richard Hart's not saying that because he, he can't, he doesn't want to be another EOS. EOS promised everyone this massive blockchain that was going to be decentralized all over the world. And once the platform went live after the first year, on their platform, they were going to have 12,000 dApps. They were going to have all these uh, Ethereum beating um, tech bods working on their platform. And they were going to fund all these gatherings and, uh, you know, hackers and hackathons and engine it. They were going to do all this amazing stuff that was going to completely revolutionize blockchain. Transactions were going to go through instantly. They were going to, it was going to have a hundred thousand throughput per second versus bitcoins like 20 something versus ethereum's i don't know 500 i can't remember what the exact figures are but they were promising massive massive stuff so we were buying eos i wasn't i i didn't like eos from the beginning i did a video on it and this is the difference i'm talking about when people are looking into things yeah and when people criticize stuff I looked into EOS, I done a video on EOS, I did probably three days worth of research before I did that EOS video. I looked into XRP, I looked into uh, Stellar, I looked into Bitcoin Cash, I looked in, I before I talk, when people message me in the little live chat or they comment in the section below, someone messaged me the other day, Glenn, you should check out library or what do you think of library? And I said, I don't know, I don't know nothing about it. That's it, I didn't say it was a scam. I didn't say it was good. I didn't say I recommend it. I d Even to this day, I've done a video and you know I've put all my content on library. I've tried it out and I've still not 
Someone messaged me the other day saying, Glenn, you haven't put a referral link or a, a link to your library account in your, and I was like, yeah, because I don't know if it's any good yet. Like, I need to make that decision myself once I've done due diligence and a bit of research. But anyway, that's the way I do things. Um, what annoys me is you tend to get it a lot in obviously comment sections. People just saying, that's a scam. That is a scam. Because it's very, you've only got a couple seconds to grab someone's attention in a comment section and you don't even know if the person's gonna reply. When I post this video, there are gonna be people in the comment section. There are gonna be people that are scammers that say, oh, I made over five Bitcoin using this awesome trading platform, blah, 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 blah. And I sit there and I manually delete all those comments. There are gonna be people that say, oh, Glenn, have you tried? And they'll name something else. They'll say, Glenn, have you looked into blah, 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 blah. I think it's the next best thing to hex. Some people will comment saying, that's a scam. Now they comment that and they don't know, is he gonna see it? Is he gonna comment on it? Um, and obviously I'm a small YouTuber. People that have 50,000, 100,000, no, they're not gonna see it because, I mean, look at Richard Hart's live chat. It's just hundreds of people. How's he meant to sit there and reply to all of that? And that's live. To forget that this video is now seven months old, so all the comments that have come after that, uh, like all this stuff here, there's no way, there's no way he's gonna sit there and read all that. It would be counterproductive in his time to sit there and do that. So these people come in and they don't even know they're gonna get a response. This person, this Peter McCormack, who's meant to be a Bitcoin maximalist, he has basically gone on there and said, no, you're a scammer, that's it. I just wanna go on this video and say, you're a scammer and I think everything you're doing is a scam. I think you're gonna rip everyone off and everyone's gonna lose loads of money. And Richard Hart says, well, hang on a minute. Uh, he openly says, look, if my coin acts like every other cryptocurrency out there, it can go up 10,000 X and it can go down 99%. That, that happens to all the cryptocurrencies. That is the risk you're taking when you buy it. Like, if you're thinking, oh, I'm gonna buy this coin and all it's gonna do is go up, and the day that I decide to cash out, it's, I don't know if you can hear that on the video. The day that I cash out, it better be worth more than I put it in. You've got no guarantee of that. No one has. I don't know that about Bitcoin. I told my wife today, I said, I think Bitcoin's gonna go to sort of 50,000. And that's what, that's, and she said, well, have you got any? And I said, well, yeah, I've got a little bit. I said, but I'd like to actually own, you know, more of it. So I was actually debating whether to get a loan out for it. And I was thinking, what if I get a loan and buy Bitcoin and, um, then I use, um, I was looking at, uh, last night I spent about three hours looking into Cellulus um, about how many people don't actually get burnt by them because they actually warn you well in advance if the price of Bitcoin goes. Anyway, that's a separate video. <laughs> I'll do another video on it. Again, I was doing my research. But for, I wouldn't go on a video and flat out call Roger Ver or um, Craig Wright a scammer unless I sat there and done loads of research and have got at least some sort of understanding of why what they're saying is not to be true. Like, then I would say, oh, okay. And I'll, you know, that's just the way that I would be. And this Peter, I don't know, maybe one, maybe he may see this video that I post, maybe he won't. And he may say, Glenn, you're an absolute arsehole. You don't know what you're talking about, mate. You know, I just wanted to call him a scammer because I believe it. And that is fine. But essentially, he's being what we all hate in this industry, and that is just a troll. He's just being a troll on video. Um, and all he's done is he's made himself look. Um, Got arrested, it was the 14K time. If you don't know that, you he's made know himself that. look. I don't know why I play that. I, I can't talk over the top of them talking. I suggest you go and watch this video. I'll put, I'll put it in the description below. But he's made himself look. Um, very childish and um, he hasn't helped his cause. His point of coming on the video was to call Richard Hart a scammer. So he's used a way to get onto Richard Hart's video to point and shame, um, but with no facts, no facts. And Richard Hart says, why am I a scammer? Who have I scammed? And he goes, oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what your project is and I don't know why it is a scam, but it's a scam. And he says, why? Because it's not Bitcoin. And I learned that in the cryptocurrency space very early on that 
basically if you mention anything other than Bitcoin, you are an idiot, you are a loser, Bitcoin will always outperform everything, um, and, and they all rise and sink with Bitcoin, none of them ever really outpaced Bitcoin, which is true, um, I've learned that over the course of the last two and a half years, um, I've tried to mine Bitcoin and altcoins to sell for Bitcoin. I have tried to trade. I have tried to um, do the whole referral link. I've tried to uh, sell merchandise to exchange for Bitcoin. I tried to get a Bitcoin um, merchant on my channel so that you could actually buy stuff using Bitcoin because I always I've always said that I think that that's the way forward really when we can actually use Bitcoin. But what's angered me is that this guy has come on and basically made the point that Hex is just going to be a pump and dump, which now obviously looking back six months later, that hasn't happened. That hasn't happened. So, But it could. He may watch this say, yeah, you just wait, then wait another six months, wait another year, it will happen understand that i understand that but richard hart makes a really good point and he says bitcoin went up to twenty thousand and then went down to three thousand now i don't know the percentage of that if three thousand of ten thousand would be uh seventy percent drop i can't, I can't wait that but it's something like <laughs> it's probably like a like an eighty percent drop um it then went from three to fourteen and then back down to f five, I believe, five and a half, six, um, and then now has gone back up to nine. That looks like a pump and dump type thing. Now, I don't think Bitcoin is pump and dump. I just think it's very speculative. It's very new, and there's a lot of price fluctuation with people buying and selling. And he says in there, Richard Hart says, but you're promoting buying and selling it. And he says, no, I don't. No, I don't. I don't recommend anyone day trades. So I thought, yeah, fair play to this guy. He's made a really good point. I don't think anyone should trade unless you're a real, real enthusiast trader that's willing to give up your life for it. Then I don't think you should buy and sell the highs and lows of Bitcoin. I then went over to his platform, uh, his YouTube channel, where he does these podcasts, and I started watching li or listening to a couple of them uh, through YouTube. And the first thing that comes up is it's sponsored by a trading platform, and then he starts shilling it, saying, "Oh yeah, for your best trading assets, blah blah blah, blah trading platforms use this, this, and this." And I thought, "Oh my god!" Like this guy is essentially doing the thing that he's criticising. Richard for doing the thing that he's saying no you're this but he's doing it himself so that obviously that would make him a hypocrite let's just listen to this uh, oh I know I think I need to fast forward this right to the beginning listen to this hello there from Bedford the Bitcoin capital of the world how are you all are you having a good week are you looking forward to the weekend Welcome to the What Bitcoin Did podcast, which is brought to you by the Mighty Kraken, the best place to buy, sell, and trade Bitcoin. I'm your host, Peter McCormack, and today I've got an interview with Jimmy Song, but before that, I've got a message from my show sponsors, and as ever, do make sure you check them out. It is the sponsors that make it possible for me to do all these interviews. So first up, we have the amazing Dropbit, the best mobile wallet in the space, and they have absolutely killed it in 2019. Come on, have you downloaded the app yet? Tens of thousands. Now, I understand you need to advertise stuff to make money so that then you can dedicate more time to the thing that you're gaining, like through that he wants to make these podcasts. If he earns money from it, he can put aside other projects so that he can concentrate on this. That means he's to bring in more value and entertainment to his the people that want to consume his content. I understand how marketing works. I understand. But you can't pin someone up against the wall and say you're a fucking scammer you promote a ponzi scheme you promote this you promote that people are going to lose all their money when the thing that people lose the most money on in cryptocurrency and they tell you on the front fucking page is fucking day trading like trading cryptocurrencies for fucking altcoins and stable coins 
is the number one way they say when you sign up if you go to trading 212 which isn't even nothing to do with cryptocurrency but it's a trading platform that does marginal trading where you can leverage you know 500 times what you actually invest it says on there 86 percent of people lose their money 86 percent 86 percent of people lose their money now he's going on and saying to this man you have created tank you're going to make money out of it so you are a scammer and people are going to lose all their money on it then goes and does a chat show the next day this video was december the 5th down here december the 5th and then he does a video december the 6th with jimmy song saying yeah, uh, go to Kraken for all your trading needs. And oh, it's the best platform. And d d d download the app and all that shit. Like, fuck off, mate. Like, fuck off. Like, what? <laughs> I have never. Ever, oh, God. Irritate. Irritates me. I get um, uh, people calling Richard Hart and the Hex platform a scam. I actually endorse. I say people. Like I said, if the if X is scam, I want to know about. So someone please bring me the evidence so I can see it. The best interview I saw, and that is why I watched it for so long, is uh, Tone Vase with um, Tone Vase with um, what's his name, <laughs> Richard Hart. Um, really um, informative. Um, yeah, this one here, seven and a half hours long, and I watched about four and a half, five hours of it. This here is probably, I don't know if you see all of them together. There we go. This is probably one of the best interviews I've seen. Tone Vase, and even though Richard Hart actually stoops to Peter McCormack's level at some point, he starts to go, yeah, well, you're this, you're that, and all that. And Tone Vase keeps very level-headed, and he's like, yep, 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 yep. It's like he has this... Um, I think Tone Vase actually, I, me personally, this is just from what I've seen of him, he comes across very anti-social, like he's he's very good at what he does. And if he wasn't that way, it, and I'm sure he's a sociable person, but I mean, he comes across very stone-faced, like, you know, just, yep, yeah, I understand, I'm listening to what you're saying and here's my response. He doesn't bring in the human element to it, like, you know. But that's my personal, I really like Tone Vase and I really like Richard Hart. This is a really constructive conversation. He's basically saying, look, if you follow the Ethereum dress here and you link this, and it's not even like the technical side of it, because some of you may be watching this and you may think, Glenn, I'm not technical. I wouldn't know that. And I understand that. And I'm not overly technical. I just, I like to listen and research and read and look into things myself. And, uh, you know, and you've got lawyers here as well, and they're basically saying, look, the way you've marketed, the way you're advertising it, it's this, it's that, it's that, and that. And they're pulling them apart, and Tone Vase is listening to all of it. And then he says at the end, look, I I, I know you're probably going to do well with this, but I think it's a scam. Um, and I'm never going to, until you actually say what is happening with that Ethereum, I'm always going to consider it a scam, and I don't care what you say. That's a very constructive way of educating the audience or at least getting his point of view across so that m me as the listener and watcher of this can actually sit back and think yeah i understand what he's just yeah i, I agree with him there yeah i'm gonna stay away from hacks someone just going on going yeah but you you're a scammer and i mean he could he could <laughs> He could have stooped, stooped as low as just going, yeah, but you're a gay boy. You know what I mean? Like the old school, like really old school playground, like, yeah, but your mum, what about your mum? You know, <laughs> it's just, and it just shocked me because I've never heard of this guy and I just assumed he was some idiot. Um, but then I find out he actually has a big following in the cryptocurrency community, um, apparently selling, advertising for trading platforms. Um, he has 11.5k followers or the, uh, I, don't know, I don't know but he's done loads of interviews so I may listen to a couple more of these and actually see what he's about more um, obviously I'm judging him based off of one interview um, and then obviously but I don't know what do you guys think I'm sorry if this is a bit of a rant it's quite late it's now like it's getting to midnight now so um, 
I just got so angry. Honestly, I broke out in sweats. Not because, like I say, this isn't about me ass kissing Richard Hart. I actually messaged Richard Hart saying, can I do an interview with you on my YouTube channel? Um, and he hasn't replied back to me. So I'll carry on. Uh, if you guys would like to see that, then please send Richard Hart, tag him in a conversation on Twitter or something, say and do an interview with Big Glenn. Um, you know, I would like to sit down and say, look, actually, let's address Richard, you know, why people think it's a scam. You tell me why you think it's not. Um, and then obviously I'll say what I feel people from the outside are seeing um, and they can make up their own minds. That's, you know, I think that's, <laughs> that's the way you do your fans justice. That's the way you do your people watching the video. People might have watch that people may have watched his video of him going yeah well you're just a fucking scammer you're a scammer you're a scammer 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 you're a wanker you're an arsehole you're a dickhead da, 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 all that and i'm sorry if any young kids are watching this or hearing this but they may hear that and think oh, that guy's a loser i quite like richard Hart actually so he may be helping richard with that interview um <sighs> I went over to, apparently, uh, Richard even promotes this website called hexscam.com, but uh, he, he says in there that, he said, if you actually read everything in there about why um, why Hex is a scam, when you actually go through and follow it, it is actually a referral link to this website. So when you actually, when you actually, uh, sign up to it if you do after coming from a page called hexisascam.com um they the website actually gets the 10 percent bonus um so <laughs> classic classic anyway what do you guys think i don't Please, I'd love it if uh, if you guys haven't watched that interview, please uh, watch the actual interview. It looks like, when you click on it, that it's about two hours long. Um, there you go, it's three hours, sorry. But actually, this Peter McCormack actually hangs up about uh, 12, 30 minutes into it. You can see, I don't know if you can see it, but I can see that... Uh, it's just Richard Hart talking to himself for the last two and a half hours of it. And I have actually gone through and watched most of this chat where he's basically promoting it. He's basically saying, like, this is what Hex is, this is how it... So he's then using anyone that's come from Peter McCormack's audience onto this platform to promote it. So he's helped. He has helped Richard Hart um, brilliantly. Richard Hart has twisted it into just a massive advert. So... Um, yeah, I just wish that uh, people in the cryptocurrency space, I get it a lot. I get a lot of people message me, like I said, I'm repeating myself now, um, message me and say, Glenn, oh, I don't know why you're talking about that hex, it's a scam. And I say, okay, can you tell me why it's a scam? And essentially, it all boils down to Richard Hart is going to earn money out of it, and I don't like the way Richard Hart talks. Um, that's, that tends to be the two uh, sticking points. Uh, if you actually say to people, okay, what do you think about the uh, staking? What do you think about the staking platform and the way that it works? And what do you think about the people receiving the free um, coins through claiming their Bitcoin and that? And they're like, oh, I don't care, it's a scam. And they just don't want to hear it. They honestly, they don't want to hear anything you have to say. Um, maybe because they're scared that, oh shit, if I actually listen to him, I might fall for it. And then I'll be one of the idiots that I'm trying to warn everyone about. Um, or maybe they just generally just don't care. They just don't want to hear anything. And uh, it reminds me a lot of Bitcoin, actually. Um, when I talk to um, friends or family about Bitcoin, I'll, I'll say to people, you know, um, I'll, I'll openly say, oh, this Bitcoin thing, I think it'll be the future of money. And people will, you know, and we've all been there. We all know the conversation. What, they just print it out of thin air? It's just made up. What, it's just online, so you can't even withdraw it. Like, it's not real. You can't hold it in your hand. Um, you know, it, well, it's gone down in price, isn't it? So, yes, yeah, a scam. Like, I get, I have that conversation every time someone, someone uh, come up to me and saw me 
go in the shed and they said oh what is it you do videos about in your shed and i said <laughs> i'll talk about bitcoin and they're like oh ain't that a scam that's the first thing they said um so if i was uh you know if you're watching this and you think well no our bitcoin's obviously not a scam uh, but why? why why is it not a scam why is it not why do you believe that? What evidence do you have to show? You've watched YouTube videos and you've read some articles online. Does that mean it's not a scam? Well, I've watched videos and I've read articles and I've looked into where the Ethereum dresses get flushed out into loads of other Ethereum dresses and then get shared out and that they're going back into the Hex platform. Does that mean I believe it's a scam? Not really. Um, so does that mean it is a scam? The people that haven't done any research, they will tell you that it is. Um, so I just I'm really confused like I'm really uh, you know I just thought that this space was a little bit more mature than that now I thought you know I remember all the XRP boys when they used to comment saying oh XRP is the true cryptocurrency it's going to go to five dollars are you telling me that people came into this space thinking god i wish the banks could make more profits by having a quicker form of transfer and then those they're gonna take those profits and they're gonna you know give cheaper transactions to the end user the customer hmm yeah that's really what i'm on cryptocurrency for no no one's for that people were thought I want to buy a Bitcoin. Oh shit, Bitcoin's 20,000. I can't afford that. Ooh, at this next one that's number three um, in the chart, like in on the coin market cap. The, oh, now, now number four. Um, oh, that one's only 80 cent. Oh yeah, I'll buy some of that. Oh, now it's 20 cent. I'm talking back when I got involved. And then they believe it goes to five, you know, and this is a coin that openly like it's open so it's it's clear as day just type in xrp owner sells xrp he does it every month i think it's every month or every quarter he sells millions and millions of xrp millions of it he don't care what the price is they're made out of thin air 56 million tokens made out of thin air he sells them it, it doesn't matter if he sold them for 1p it's 56 million pence that he's just made out of nothing. Um, and I assume he's not the only one getting 56 million. I assume someone else is getting 56 million somewhere else and someone else is getting it. You know, there's probably an even divide. <sighs> I don't know. I'm just losing. I was on the phone to one of the guys in the Telegram group chat the other day and I'm, ve I'm just venting now. So this is a uh, venting uh, video now. I've uh, been going for 33 minutes. I won't go on much longer. Coin Market Cap, this whole website that we all use, we all trust, you know, it's always been a reliable source of information. It has been bought out by Binance. Binance own this whole site. If you go over to the if you and Binance owns a lot a majority share of Tether. Right now, Tether's number one on the, but it is the most probably used. <laughs> it's probably the most used cryptocurrency in the world. Um, somewhere on here, and I don't know how to find it. You can actually view. Um, you can actually view exchanges, and they actually rank them in terms of like how much uh, liquidity they have, how much trading volume they do, uh, how many users go to the site. Um, really cool information so you can look at it and go okay what's the best what is the best um, exchange if, if you want to do exchange and I don't recommend you do um, I can't I don't know where it is I wish I knew where it was but essentially they've done a list and they rank them out of a thousand points Guess what has just been changed to number one with a perfect 1,000 score? What exchange would give themselves a perfect... Let's turn the night mode off so it makes me look a bit brighter on the video. Um, oh, I wish I could find it. Oh, no, let's just Google it. Uh, 
Binance change their score on coin market cap. Is this the one that I'm looking for? Nope, that's their token. You're watching this now thinking, what is this guy going on about? Why am I saying this? Because rankings. All exchanges. Boom. So Binance buys this website. The next thing that happens is this web traffic factor where they rate each exchange out of a thousand points. So you can go to any exchange and view their rating. Really handy tool. I think that's really cool. You might you might look at the exchange that you was gonna use and go, oh, Coinex, or oh, I don't know, they've got a really low rating. Oh, I don't know if I could trust them. And they only do this much and they only have this much average liquidity. Like this one's on zero. You know, like you might think, oh, I don't wanna use them. It's a really handy tool, but guess who gave themselves 1,000 score? <laughs> it's, it's making me believe that everything, everything in cryptocurrency is a scam in some way. This is a very new sector. It's a wild, wild west. There's a lot of people, um, and you... You know, you look at it like when people used to mine gold years and years ago. Obviously, gold eventually became the metal that everyone wanted, but I'm sure there was loads of cowboys and miners and stuff going and saying, well, look, I found this other metal called platinum or fucking steel or whatever, like, and saying, yeah, but this is, look, look, this one's stronger. This one can have handle more load. This one's got more density. This one is softer. This one is can be used better for this, this, and this. It has, it retains this. It does that. It does, you know, silver and stuff like that. And I'm sure that that all happened. And eventually, over a long period of time, people started. Well, well, look, that man's got loads of gold around his neck. That means he has a higher wealth. Um, and then obviously it becomes fashionable. And then. We still use that to this day. Um, and gold obviously won overall, if you like, I suppose. All metals are worth something, I suppose, because there's only a limited number of them. But um, yeah, just it, this is what's happening with cryptocurrency right now. There's a lot of stuff being said and done out there, and this is all online. So, you know, in theory, I could create a cryptocurrency and I could very quickly. Um, make something if i knew how i could make something and promote it and everyone can determine right glenn's just shilling this scam now he's just shilling in a scam but what if i actually believed in it what if i actually thought well actually i think this can help people and this is why um you know it'd be up to the people calling me a scammer to say right we've got you now You've been, you've got this secret wallet and you're using the money for this secret use and it's only going to be a matter of six months before everything goes to pot and you're going to lose all the money. Then that's up to me then to go, uh, uh, well, yeah, but, uh, you know, um, so that's, that's my thoughts on it. That's my, I just really, I really hope that the cryptocurrency sector becomes more uh, grown up, more mature. The interview with Tone Vase, top quality stuff. Really like that. Um, I don't even watch Tone Vase's um, price predictions anymore. I used to watch him all the time and he used to say, he pretty much always says Bitcoin's going to go down. Um, and he, he will say, like, I think Bitcoin's going to drop here, but let's wait to see what happens tonight or let's see what happens tomorrow. Let's see what the next five candles bring us. We have to wait for the monthly. We have to wait for the RSI to hit this certain point. Essentially saying, let's wait for the thing to happen that, and then we'll I'll say, yes, I was right or wrong. Sort of like, you know, sort of thing. And he promotes loads of stuff. And I'm not calling Tone Vase a scammer at all because I really, really like Tone Vase. I really like his content. I love some of the uh, videos that he's done. I was watching one today. Um, 
you're gonna see what all my kids watch actually most of the time um there you go <laughs> disney stuff uh oh, where is it? i was watching it earlier never mind i can't find it uh tone vase was ah this guy double your bitcoin safely i literally did a video about that about a year and a half ago and he talks exactly he's like it's like he only just figured it out he was like oh my god you can borrow money against your bitcoin buy more bitcoin then borrow money against that and buy more bitcoin then buy more money of that buy more bitcoin um and i literally did a video like that a long time ago um <laughs> so, but my channel hasn't got 50,000 views and subscribers. Um, I'm stuck to the uh, 1,700 that I've had for a long time. Probably show, shows because I'm not shilling and scamming enough stuff. Um, I think if I did some more videos uh, really pushing stuff, like with Hex, I've said to you guys, use it, don't use it. Use my link or just search it yourself. Do your own research, don't trade, don't, you know, look at, you know, but because I'm talking in that very monotone, sensible voice, that tends to only resonate with other normal people, like people that are like, yeah, Glenn's got a good point there. Yeah, it's good for this and it's bad for that. Yeah, I understand that. People don't want to hear that. Uh, the other day, one of my comments was about um, crypto.com. I said that I was disappointed that it didn't have a direct UK bank account that you can transfer money to. And he commented like quite angrily, oh, you can just buy Bitcoin using credit cards straight from the platform, you idiot. I hope this doesn't affect our um, investment. So he's angry because I've said something negative in something that he's invested in. So in his mind, because he's invested money into it, people should only talk good things about because he's invested money in it people should only talk good things about it now i openly admitted look i haven't spent much time with this and i'm running out of time so i can't go into the full debts but i'm a bit disappointed i can't send it money i have to buy bitcoin and then transfer it back into um fiat money after um and that's my honest review of what happened the very first day I received Crypto.com card. But I can't say any more than that. Then someone commented um, saying, Glenn, library, library's cool sometimes, buggy on the app, but constantly getting updated. So like, again, I mean, he wasn't too bad. He's not kicking off or anything. But, um, you know, he's saying here like, oh, you should link your uh, library account. But I, I want to make sure it's not a scam before I talk about anything like that and start sharing links like it's not for me to just yeah here's a load of referral links everyone click on it and then if you make money or not that's not my fault you know like i'm not that guy um i really like hex and that is why i started talking about it two weeks after i invested in it uh, when i actually started looking into the actual level of transparency there is in the token um it actually made me like really like god i haven't seen this before um Oh, I can't find it. I'm sure you guys believe me though, but uh, this guy makes a good point. Leave my pony alone. I don't like Bitcoin purely from a valuation standpoint compared to the total market. Everyone knows about it and everyone knows who's in crypto. Why not buy a copy of BTC? Pick your choice. BTC, Litecoin, BSV. They're 50 times less expensive. And if there's a bull market, ride them up. You're going to make way more money in the alts than in Bitcoin. He's got a really good point. If you're here to make money, if that's what you're watching these videos for, if you're thinking... I just want to buy Bitcoin so it goes up in price. I don't really care about privacy or transaction throughput and uh, block size and uh, where it can be used and where it can be accepted. If you don't care about any of that, then yeah, just buy some altcoins. Well, some of them are... I was looking... If you go on to... Um, crypt, crypto... Currencies... This is a really cool site actually. Um, it lists all the coins, CoinGecko. I've used these guys before, but they have this specific um, case that, that you can look at. So since Bitcoin's all time high, it's down 52%. 
but we don't want to buy a coin that's at 52%. We want to buy the dirt cheap stuff so we can make more money on the ride up. XRP is down 94%. 94%. Bitcoin Cash is down 93%. These are the coins that your XM, XLM is down 92%. So when you're saying Hex is a scam, because at some point it's going to go to zero. Uh, and if that happens, uh, you know, there may be a reason for it. Maybe Richard Hart does run off with all the money. Maybe he cashes out. Maybe he crashes the Ethereum price exchange somehow. And then I would turn around and I'd say, everyone was right about that hex thing. It was a scam and I didn't get out in time and I lost money in it. Which I've got about, I've got about $1,500 um, riding on hex. So I'll lose money just as much as the next person. But then you have to say, what about pretty much, apart from Tezos, OKB, Binance Coin, uh, Teva? I mean, that's a stable coin. <laughs> it should always be worth one dollar. Like what? It's gone down twenty five percent. That's because sometimes it goes just over, and I suppose it's gone down a bit. Um, Monero down eighty eight percent. Tron ninety four percent. Neo 94%, Dash 95%, XEM 97.90%. That is almost, that means it's almost 100% lost its value. 100%. But no one has done a video of, well, let's check. Has anyone done a YouTube video called XEM is a scam? I'm sure someone has. Why is it Japan's second favorite cryptocurrency? Keto diet is a marketing scam. <laughs> YouTube is a scam. Coinbase is it safe? EOS coin explained. No, no one's scam cloud token. Maybe that's a video about it being a scam. Um, yeah, so from my small amount of research, no one is talking about why XEM is a scam, yet it, anyone who invested in it at the all-time high has just lost 97.90%. Uh, that's almost 98%. That is insane. Insane. Look at them. At Bitcoin Gold, 98%. Like... <laughs> <laughs> oh I don't know what else to say there guys I mean that's just that's proven my point um, why no one doing I tell you why no one's doing videos about these if I did a video called XEM is a scam because it's almost gone to zero or whatever it may be it wouldn't pick up very much traction like I just showed you there, no one is searching XEM is a scam or is XME a scam or uh, whatever. Someone, I'm sure someone's going to comment saying, oh, the only price it's dropped is because this happened on this day. Um, Bitcoin Diamond is down 99.62%. It's still, it's all time high was $147. Imagine you bought that coin for a hundred and fifty dollars and now it's worth 55 cent um nano is down 97.78 uh, i could watch these all day i was on this website the other day and i was just i was steam the first thing i said when someone said have you checked out library and i said no i've checked out a few of these social media sites and steam i went on there i never shielded it i had I didn't do any referral links because I went on there. I didn't like it. Um, and that has dropped now 97.89%. That's basically 98%. Um, it's a shame there isn't one that's like 100%. That'd be awesome. Um, Bitcoin Diamond is the closest one. So what that guy was just saying, if you're in this space to make money quickly, your best bet is probably to go on this website and buy Bitcoin Diamond because it is down 
you're getting it for a discount of 99.60%. If there is another bull run and you get loads of new noobs coming in going, oh my God, Bitcoin's too expensive. What's going Oh, I've seen Bitcoin Diamond, it's only like 55 cents. Yes, you probably will make money. And once you see that trend go up and it goes up by, even if it goes up to $2, you've four times your money. That's like four X. You put a grand in, you get four grand out. Do that. Do that, you know? Um, I didn't buy into Hex because of any particular price that it was at. I looked at it when Richard Hart first announced it um, months and months ago, and he was talking about it. And the way that he explained it was to me very very clear um <clears throat> you know some of these claims about it always going up in price or like it's going to do 10,000 x i don't know how you can get to that valuation i've listened to his argument of people saying um well you know bitcoin went up 750,000 or whatever the statistic is that he says uh, so it's quite reasonable to say that this is going to go up 10,000 but how do you know that how do you know that? It might only go up 900% uh, percent or whatever, you know? Um, so that, I don't pay too much attention to that. I look at Hex in the way that um, at the moment it's a new coin. So the writing's on the wall, if you like, or it needs to be on the wall. Um, I have got a referral link. It is in the description down below. And I've made no, like, I've never tricked people in saying, uh, you know, what a lot of YouTubers will do, they'll do this. If you want to buy the same camera that I'm talking about in this review, the link to it is on Amazon where you'll get it at the best price. But actually it's their link where they earn five to 10% of whatever you buy on Amazon that day, not just that camera, anything they buy. Because if you have cookies enabled, Amazon tracks what you then buy past that and then they earn money from it i've been very open i've shown this page many times and i've had people comment in my videos down below saying glenn that transaction there where you earned 62 hex that day that was me um and i say okay cool what's your referral link and i'll use you next time i buy in i haven't bought in recently because i've got enough in there at the moment i may buy some more if it drops in price um but I've been very open, very honest. And if anyone was to come to me and say, Glenn, you're, the only reason you talk about Hex is because you have a referral link. And I'll go, yeah. Yeah, I have got a referral link. It's not the only reason I talk about it because I would have been using a referral link from day one. I actually, um, as I've said many times in this video, I bought in here and I started talking about Hex in a YouTube video about here i think day 155 or something like that it was because i wanted to see what the platform was how the staking worked i actually made some stakes and ended some stakes and then i actually then converted it into ethereum sent ethereum to coinbase and then cashed the money out and then transferred it into my bank i did that whole process to see if i could get my money out and i remember with bitconnect when you used to invest in bitconnect you had to buy the bitconnect token whatever it was called um and you had to you had to send them bitcoin they then sent you bitconnect token you then staked that or you bought trades or something like that and they guaranteed you got one percent interest and then they sent you when you ex when you cashed in your bit uh, connect things they gave you something else they didn't give you bitcoin back so you couldn't double your bitcoin it was like they gave you us dollars worth because what they were doing is holding on to the bitcoin and they were using because the price of bitcoin was going up they was using that profit to then keep funding the new people that were coming into the space to pay them that one two percent daily interest daily not just like yearly apr they were doing it per day so you were earning one percent or four percent every day soon as the price of bitcoin went down as soon as it dropped to whatever it was three thousand they went bust because they were like oh shit we've got all this bitcoin and now it's worth like 80 percent of what it was um we can't do the four percent otherwise we'll be running out of minus and they, they shut up shop run off with the money and i assume they've still got that money somewhere or well, someone's got it um so you know th 
I, for me, I was like, okay, if I put Ethereum into it, can I get Ethereum back out? And not only can I get Ethereum back out, can I get more Ethereum out than I put in? And you can. So whether you think this is a scam or not, even if you believed in your heart of hearts, you were like, this is a scam. I 100% I know it. Put your money where your mouth is. You know, like you could put money in this, uh, even if it was a small amount and just staked it and then just wait for it to either go to zero or cash out more money than what you put it started off with if you believe it is a scam and you want to ride the wave i suppose if you want to you could buy into it and you could um just hold the token you ain't got to stake it or anything like that. just hold it while the price is going the way that it is as we've seen many times i've shown it you could ride that wave and as long as you cash out the day that you think Richard Hart is going to dump it to zero, then um, you'll, there's a very high chance you'll come out a winner. You'll come out, you know, if you look at um, even today, like today's prices, I mean, I haven't really looked into the price of Hex today, but it's gone down. It was at like uh, 0.62 something a couple of days ago and it's dropped to sort of five and a half. But it got there very very quickly like you can see here it tends to have a few dip days and then it goes back up a couple of percent and then it has a dip day and then it goes up and that is the way that you know you look at bitcoin this looks exactly like a bitcoin graph now this could drop the other side of the cliff and it could be trading around here but i've made a commitment to stake this coin because I honestly believe that forgetting all the 10,000 X and all that that everyone's promising I've always said like people said Glenn where do you think it's going and I honestly believe that this can get to one cent I've seen it go up to uh, from 0 0.0018 I think I got into 0 0.0055 today um, within the space of weeks if the cryptocurrency tends to go up, they all go up. So Hex might go up to one cent just right in the back of Bitcoin. Uh, so that's one thing. But I actually believe that even if Bitcoin went down tomorrow, Hex would go up um, over time. And I'm not saying that's a guarantee. Don't use it as financial advice. But I have seen it. I have seen Bitcoin go down and hex go up 20% in a day. Another coin that I've seen that on recently is OX. And I have messaged um, someone who actually invests in OX. That went up like 20% the other day. Uh, it's dropped back down again, but that had a massive pump. There you go, look at that, straight up. Uh, now, if that drops again, does that mean that's a scam? Like, what's the definition of a scam? Um, my personal opinion and I've got nothing to back this up with the way that Richard Hart is positioning himself the way that he is so openly doing these live chats doing these streams doing the marketing the way he's putting himself out there says to me that this guy can't just run away from this I think he enjoys it too much I, I think he loves creating stuff and I think he likes selling the stuff that he's created. I think he loves it. I can't see him dumping it. Now, it may go to zero, nothing to do with him. I don't know. It may, it may, it may not. It, if, if everyone decided to not invest in it, it, it would go to zero, surely. I think we can all agree on that. If everyone just decided tomorrow, right, I'm not going to use Hex, then um, that may go to zero. But uh, I don't know. I just think that he's positioning himself in a way that he's accumulating all this Ethereum. I hope he does make money out of it. I mean, the guy has been grilled now for about eight months straight since he announced that he was going to release this. Probably longer than that because he was marketing it a lot before it even went live. So he's probably been like really criticised. And you got to think, imagine going into work every day and people saying, mate, your job, your job is shit. Mate, you are a scammer. 
you are scamming. You know, you go into a mechanics place and they say like, uh, yeah, mate, you need two new tires and some brakes and you go, scammer, you're a scammer. Imagine having that all day, every day. Ticket, ticket collect, uh, you know, people that give you car park tickets and stuff like that. You go up to them and go, you're fucking, you're doing it to make profit. You get commission at this. You're a scammer, you're a scammer. <laughs> they're not, they're just doing their job. But um, I hope he does make money out of it. And I hope I make money out of it. And I hope that everyone watching this video um, that watches my content and thinks, do you know what? Um, there's all these YouTubers out there that are doing the top five altcoins of 2020. Uh, top 20 alts that are going to make you rich next year. And um, look out for these buying signals of Bitcoin. Sign up using my link and you can get 10% off your fees with some trading platform. I have never done any of those. Why would I risk all of that two and a half years of my own reputation, my own work, and even the guys in my Telegram group chat have said, you know, that we all had a bit of banter and they were saying, Glenn, you're a shilly, you're a scammer. Um, and then they said, no, just joking. You're probably the most honest guy in cryptocurrency. And as long as you're honest with us, then, you know, then we trust you. Um, now that's not to say whether they've invested they probably haven't but um, as long as they say yeah Glenn we, we believe in you then uh, that, that means loads to me that means more than making $500 in like a year over a course of a year do you know what I mean I would rather say now do you know what which I have done so many times I, I've had to, oh, I'm just ranting now sorry this is going on for like an hour I've had loads of people comment you know I've had messages through Twitter Instagram uh, YouTube do you want to promote this, this, and this? We will pay you. Um, we just need you to mention this on a video. And I've taken screenshots of it and then put it in my Telegram group chat and said, hey guys, look at this scam that someone's asked me to promote. And some some of them, some people have messaged me stuff and I've looked into it. I've actually gone on and like I'm doing now, I'd sit there and I'd type in, is it a scam? And what what is this thing that they're asking me to promote you know like and i look into it and i read it and then as soon as i read it like this is a scam they're trying to whatever they then i'm like i either just don't i just don't reply to them um i've probably got my twitter on here somewhere let's have a look see i'm not i'm not worried about anything i show you guys i've never been like blurring out I think the only things I've... Uh, so these people asked me to promote Sank. Um, there you go. I don't want to promote... A, oh, you can't see it. X, my camera's in the way. Oh. <laughs> Let me see if I can zoom in on this. And uh, So these people have offered to pay me in a referral commission. Um sent me a really long message uh, blah, 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 blah. and I've said look I don't want to promote a scam and they've said okay look into this look into this so I followed the links and I didn't like it I didn't like it and that was it I didn't reply you can see at the bottom of the conversation now I didn't reply um I've had I think I've deleted a lot of these yeah I've only got them as conversations some of these I've deleted because I just didn't you know, I get them on Instagram, I get them through um, YouTube, obviously YouTube's the main one, I get loads of them. And yeah, if I really was one of those YouTubers, um, I, there's loads of stuff I could have promoted over the time. I could have done BitConnect, I never ever, you can go through all my content and I said from the beginning, I think BitConnect's a scam. I um, promoted Envian, there wasn't really any referral or affiliate link in, so I wasn't making anything off that. I from what I can remember, there might I might have put a link like check out Envy because I really believe in it. But this is the thin line where you have to cross. Like where if I let's say that I invested in Hex and I left it a year and I never mentioned it on any of my videos, never ever mentioned it, and it made me more money than Bitcoin. It it was it went up ten times more than Bitcoin went up, and then all of a sudden I just all of a sudden do a video. Hey guys, I've just bought two Bitcoin. And everyone's like, how, how did you do that? How did, what happened? How, you know, you one minute you've got like 0.3 of a Bitcoin and all of a sudden you've got like two and a half Bitcoin. What happened? Oh, I invested in this altcoin and it went up like loads. And everyone will be saying, why? Why didn't you tell us? Why, why hold out on us? Why? I only have 
probably 100 to 200 people that regularly watch my videos. Every time I post them, the first day or two, one or 200 people, and then they tend to go up over time. So those 200 people, they're the people I wanna communicate with first. And I say to everyone, join me in the Telegram. It's in the description down below. You can chat to me. If you start saying, you know, oh, Glenn, I think this altcoin is the bollocks. You should invest in this. Uh, you'll probably get banned by one of the admins. <clears throat> they're very good at sniffing out bullshit very quickly. I sort of leave them to do that now. I used to do it at the beginning. Um, but th they do that for me now because I think they enjoy it. <laughs> you know who you are if you're watching this. Um, so yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't know. That's that's it, guys. I'm going to wrap it up there. I've been babbling for over an hour now. I can't imagine many of you watch this video. Um, that's it from me. I, I just thought I'd let you know what I'm feeling today. Um this Peter McCormack, I just think he really let down his audience. Um, and I just, I suppose really I can wrap it up with, if you're new into this cryptocurrency space, um, or if you're, um, if you're not new into this cryptocurrency space, if you're watching my content, you will always receive an honest opinion. You will always get an honest view. You will always hear honesty coming out of my mouth um, you will all everything you see on my channel is honesty I apart from promoting hex in the last couple of weeks I haven't promoted anything since an ICO two and a half years ago which did go to zero and I told everyone to get out of it i had done a video saying get out of hex uh, hex get out of um, Envian um, I also did a video saying um, I'm sorry for anyone who invested in Envian that came in through my channel, which at the time I was a very small YouTube channel. I only had like 500 followers or something. So it wasn't huge amounts, luckily. Um, but I think many of us can all agree that at some point or another, we've in invested in an ICO. Um, and that's what I liked about Hex. It's not an ICO. So if you're new to this channel, click the subscribe button. That's what I'm getting at. <laughs> This has all been one hour long pitch just for you to click the subscribe button, smash that like button for me. If you want to continue to see honest content, whether it's good, bad, ugly, you may think, oh my God, this guy's a noob. But the thing is, a lot of people getting into crypto no currencies are noobs and they're all thinking the same thing. One of the highest rate like comments that I received feedback was with that crypto um, dot com a card when I received the card and I said I'm disappointed I can't do UK bank transfers and I can't figure out how to buy Bitcoin on it it's really confusing a lot of people comment saying you're such an idiot you're such a noob um, you don't know what you're doing uh, I received that two or three times I received 10 to 15 comments Glenn I've had exactly the same thing I can't I can't figure out how to do it can you please find out and then do a video about it which I did two days later I did a video this is how you buy Bitcoin using crypto.com <laughs> it this channel is honesty and I hope that you can trust me going forward and I hope you like this content that's it from me guys I'll do another video uh, tomorrow I <laughs> I'll probably post this for tomorrow morning, um, but I'll do another video in the afternoon of what I'm spending my Sunday researching. I know it sounds sad. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.